Hey guys, today we're going to show you zone one of our new irrigation system off of the well. All right, guys, here is our well that came with the property. Now, the well was over here and this whole entire ditch area is where the water collects and runs to, through the back of our property. Well, the problem was, is this was being eroded and the well was starting to fall in. So what we did is we moved it to the other side where it's more stable and we gave it a little bit of an upgrade. As you can tell, Donald uh, cleaned up everything. We got new switches, new pressure gauge. Uh, there's the well there. And then uh, we still got to clean up some of the old piping and get rid of the uh, the post over there. But this is it. So we added a spigot. So that way we can uh, utilize this area a little bit better. And we got valves so we can turn on the sprinkler systems. Now, uh, we did pay for the, all the new piping. Um, that came, you know, we did have to pay for that. But um, the irrigation system that we got um, from um, one of our homesteader friends came from a local farm down, I believe in Plant City and uh they were kind of going out of business so they went down there to go ahead and um rip up their blueberries and their irrigation system and they had extra so we got some of it we got two rolls of it so we're utilizing it as best as we can and so this way we got all this new stuff so i'm going to show you guys exactly zone one and what it covers and i'm going to go ahead and turn that on now and show you guys how everything works okay that is for zone one and as you can hear well it's working and i'm going to walk down the line and show you everything along the ditch line that we got that's going to be covered under this zone one dinner plate hibiscus banana trees pineapples Here's my jasmine, and look at that, isn't that gorgeous? I don't remember what that one is, that's one of Donald's new ones. We got ourselves a new brown turkey fig because we lost the other one in the uh, winter. Pineapples. Another fig tree. I planted some Mexican sunflowers. These are the yellow kind. Little pineapples. Curry leaf is doing great. And here's the new growth. Going down the line. This guy's coming back. I cannot remember what it is. This one here is my birch, my river birch. Sapote, I believe, yeah, I believe that's a sapote. I think it's a brown sapote. And then in the back there, that's our um, sour apple. I believe, I could be wrong. Grapes, and the good thing is, Get a little wet here. Uh, let's see if I can find it. We actually have grapes. There they are. Once the sprinklers aren't on, I just got soaking wet. <laughs> More pineapples, Mexican sunflower. This is our bay leaf tree.
that there is our um, Barbados cherry. More grapes, tea tree. We got another grape over here. I think that's the home grape. No, I'm not sure. The tags have been worn off. And then these are the blueberry bushes. Uh, we already had three. We got an extra four from our friends. And then over here is another grape, a red crepe myrtle. That's my pigeon pea that came back. More pineapples, uh, loquat. Not sure what that one is in the bag, I can't remember. I think that's another loquat. Now these trees, because they were they were dug up, um, we're gonna see if they'll come back. We're gonna give them some time during the summer here to come back to life. So we're hoping they had really good root system. And then that's cassava. So everything you see here is in zone one of our irrigation system. This is going to save us a lot of time on hand watering because that's what we were doing before. And it will allow us to plant more beautiful stuff and more stuff to eat. And this here is our everbearing mulberry all right remember guys grow something for your family